Hi, my name is Larry Wolf. I'm the National Training Manager for Regency Fireplace Products. And I'm here to show you today how to build a fire and use your new catalytic hybrid stove from Regency very effectively. With the higher efficiency of the uh, new Regency wood stoves, here's a few tips to get you burning quicker, cleaner, and longer. Uh, one thing you're going to notice right away when we open up the door, this is a new stove install, so there's not very much ash in here. But what you want to do is always leave at least an inch and a half to two inches of ash in your unit. If the stove was running last night, you're going to want to open your air control fully, just slide it to the left, take your bypass tool, grab onto the bypass, it could still be warm from last night. Pull it out and that opens up the whole system. You're going to want to take some black and white newspaper. Uh, try not to use colored newspaper or please don't use colored newspaper. Um, the chemicals that are used in newspaper can and will contaminate your catalyst. So take some black and white newspaper, crumble it up. We'll get that inside there. A few pieces really is all you need. And then there's all different ways to build a wood fire. You want some finger sized kindling. Um, this happens to be all hardwood. You can use pine, um, hardwood, your choice, whatever you have. Some people like to use fire sticks. Um, this seems to work really well and we always have newspaper around. So you can do a cabin style. Some people like to do a teepee style. All up to you on how to establish the fire. But the key here is the crumbled up newspaper and small splits, finger sized splits to get the stove roaring. At this point, all we're gonna do is light our newspaper. You can light it in a couple different spots. And again, our bypass is wide open, our air control is wide open. After your newspaper starts, you can close the door and leave it cracked just a little bit. You'll notice if I pull on the door, it's closed, but if I look down the side of it, it's still allowing air to go in to help start the fire on a cold flue. After the kindling is fully engulfed, take one of or both of your included leather gloves with the stove, and I like to use wrist size pieces next. Again, your bypass damper is still open, your air control is still wide open, and on this unit, the 2500, you can load front to back or left to right, but I'm going to continue with my teepee, or I'm sorry, my log cabin. As long as your smaller kindling is fully engulfed, feel free to load up as much as you like in the firebox of these wrist size pieces. Again, I'll close my door. I'll leave it cracked open just a little bit to allow the air to flow in and wait for that to get engulfed before I start adding larger pieces. As you can see, our wrist size or the second stage pieces have taken off and they're fully engulfed. Now it's time to add the third size or the third step, the forearm size pieces. Again, bypass is still open. Air is wide open. You can load again front to back for your longer burns or the longer overnight burns, load it front to back. Close her down, let that take off for a few minutes. Once that's fully engulfed, we're going to go to the fourth stage and our final stage for our long overnight burns. They're going to be the leg size pieces. By that time, when we're ready for that, we'll have a good base of coals some extra ash in there to help insulate those coals to help you have that long overnight or all day burn. Going in from the third to the fourth stage, at that point, most likely our catalyst is gonna be engaged as well. It'll say active. You can take your bypass tool, close your bypass, let that settle down just for a minute, and then adjust your air. Anywhere from wide open to closed, 
this will vary your heat output. Wide open, you're gonna get short, hot fires. All the way closed is where you're gonna get your long, long burns out of the stove.